I'm Leila McKinnon. Welcome to A Current Affair. Tonight, the blow-up behind one of Australia's biggest ever bands, Australian Crawl. Smash hit records, sold out tours, the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. So what went wrong? Martin King went behind the scenes and he joins us now. Martin, what happened? Layla, this was one of the great friendships of Australian rock and roll. James Rain and Simon Binks, who was his lead guitarist. These boys loved each other from childhood. They grew up together. They were the best of mates. They called each other brother. Now, what's happened is simply this. These guys who started Australian Crawl together produced some of the most iconic music we have ever heard in this country. Bar none. Now, what's happened is that these two fellas have fallen out. Their friendship is fractured. And have a look at this. Here is why. OK, OK, we go Australian Crawl. Hey. Do you feel betrayed by him? No question about that. I definitely feel betrayed by him. You want trouble? It is disappointing because we were a good team. We really wrote some good tracks. They reigned supreme. In a golden era of great Aussie bands, Australian crawl were it and a bit. With James Rain front and centre flanked by his best mate, lead guitarist Simon Binks, Aussie crawl had it all. Sting asked us to do the last police together. Uh, Duran Duran asked us to tour the UK with them. I mean, people wanted to be associated with us because we were supposed to be the next big thing. The fame, the fortune, the money and the honey. Plenty of sex, drugs and rock and roll? Well, not being because I had a girlfriend and I was, well, I was faithful to her. But anyway, it gets pretty bloody hard. Particularly when you're waking with girls in your bed that weren't there when you went to sleep. They were happy days, hit after hit, sell out after sell. But now Simon Binks claims if he had agreed to a more equal share of the earnings with his former best friend, James Rain, his life might have been quite different. Whoa! I mean, if James had shared, I would probably own a home and uh, my standard of living would be better. Uh, so how would you describe I've made some, some dumb decisions. And the result is this. So this is the studio. The world's messiest studio. <laughs> yes, well, uh, what do you do? You it's know? beautiful equipment. It's the best equipment you can get. In the worst room you can get. These days, the no, flame no, of fame and fortune can. flickers low. Simon Binks is near broke. You want trouble? Trouble. While James Rain still tours the country and lives in this mansion, his former best mate is renting. I can only imagine he's getting $100,000 checks. Um, and, uh, what are you getting? I'm likely if a check reaches 2000 How often? Twice a year. Can I ask you a rude question? Go ahead. How much have you got in the bank? $20,000. That's your life? That's, it. That's all I've got. So what do you think happened between you and James? I think he came to take me for granted. Was he greedy? Uh, well, I think there's only one answer to that, really. You know, when you which, consider... Which is? Yeah. Never said the music industry was fair, least of all Simon Binks. He reckons James Rain got most of the credit, the recognition and the royalties. Well, I made the song so. I mean, it's, it's classic because you, the evidence is right there. All the albums that I was involved with, where I was involved with the writing of the song and the production, they were all a huge success. The one where I didn't, a complete failure. And why didn't you get credit? Uh, I think it's James. He sees his songs as like his babies. He doesn't want to share fatherhood. But credit where credit's due. Y yeah, and it's also smart because, you know, if you don't give credit, uh, what value is, is it to stick around? You know, it's, it's... Which is why you quit. Yeah. 
you know, when I walked in the, on that final day, when I walked in the studio, it all fell into place immediately, and I thought, bugger this. And it's a decision he's regretted ever since. How would you like the band to go? Well, eventually, I mean, uh, as far as possible. I'd really like to go overseas, obviously, and make a lot of money out of it. But uh, I just want it to happen at a reasonable rate uh, so we can, as I say, look at it a little more object objectively and appreciate it. Thanks, mate. So this is pretty much where it all began for you, wasn't it? The, the famous ESPY live venue in St Kilda? Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, many nights here. But, uh, if you had your time all over again, what would you change? I would be a lot less trusting. I would be a lot more vigilant over business matters. I would get uh, certain things in writing that really shouldn't have to be gotten in writing, but, but I would. I mean, I'd like, to, I'd like to live in the south of France, actually. I'd end up living in L.A. For good? For good. What was your relationship like with James Rowan in the heyday? Oh, like you said, he called me his brother by different parents. You know, we, we used to get drunk together at bars, you know, I love your mother, and, oh, I love your mother, you know, and, and you know, it was, and it was true. I mean, you know, my mother was, was this extraordinary woman, and I saw Judy as being this extraordinary, extraordinary woman as well. Um, we were both heavily influenced by our mothers. While James Rain still reigns around the music tracks, Simon thinks life has gone to hell. In 2005, he suffered terrible head injuries in a car smash in North Sydney. He's still recovering. Then, a marriage breaker. I, 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 I thought uh, it would all work out. Well, why, why did you think you'd be fine? Because we were best of mates. So I don't know what the hell I was thinking. We're not sure what the rain camp is thinking either. None of our phone calls or emails have been returned. This is the residence of James Rain. Not exactly what you'd call a mansion, I guess, but it is a beautiful country estate. And what would be even more beautiful would be if James Rain was here to talk to us. But he's not. We went a long way to get James Rain's version of events, all the way to Ballarat on Saturday, where he was performing at a summer festival. Can we ask you about Simon Binks, James? Please, what's your response to him saying that... I don't even know about it. Simon Binks claims the betrayal was when he turned up at a recording studio to record a new album and found another guitarist rehearsing his riffs with his guitar. He quit and stormed out. The reason was that I had his back for so long, I, I gave him so many hits, I earned him so much money, which was never shared with me, I never got credits for co-writing the songs. And Binks claims it's happening all over again with a new contract to release a best of hits for Aussie Crawl. Well, unfortunately, what's happened is the norm. The record companies tend to encourage this. They pick one guy, usually the singer, and everything goes into him and everyone else falls aside. But James can change that. Yes, and it would have been wise of him to do so. But why didn't James Rain change the arrangement financially? You'd have to ask him that. He says you betrayed him. Did you betray him? James? Binks is talking out now because he's so frustrated with the music industry in this country. Frustrated with the unfairness, the lack of money, the lack of live venues and the lack of support for new talent. The, the, the rock and roll industry is kind of like a cowboy industry where they're making them up as they go along and, and they haven't caught up. Can you do that pout for us? I wasn't aware that I was pouting. Well, have a look at it. Give us that pout. That's just a natural... Um, <laughs> James has got to get his shit together because... Good luck to you, mate. I hope you start another Thanks. rock and roll band. So do I. Thank you for your encouragement. Yeah, and uh, don't trust too many people. No, no, I won't. Who's right. getting this, by the way? Sorry? Who's getting this, by the way? Me. Okay. You're broke, remember? <laughs> <laughs> And we should point out that there is no allegation from Simon that James has acted illegally in any way. And he hopes that by speaking out, the music industry will become fairer when it comes to royalties.